It's in the Iwatoda Station Plaza. This will be the tenth shadow. Only a few left. Let's just worry about them one at a time. If they actually appear one at a time, we don't need two at once again. Yukari-chan! How did you know? I sensed two of them. What? Seriously? Me and my big mouth. Where's Shinji? He notified me that he'll be joining us later. He didn't say why, though. Figures. He's always played by his own rules. Well, I'm sure it's fine. He said he's coming later, right? Yeah, that's already better than a certain someone who didn't show last time. Hey, come on, that wasn't my fault. Don't worry, I'm totally ready to go this time. See? Wait. Amada Kun isn't here either. Hey, Junpei, go get him. That'll be your punishment for last time. Punishment? What is this, kindergarten? Well, I guess it is a kid's bedtime. All right, we've got two targets this time. Let's get moving. We'll decide on our team formation once we get there. Let's go. Look, there they are. This is the route we always take to school. We've got to protect it. It's almost like they're waiting for us. By the way, where's Amada? Uh, he wasn't in his room, so who knows? Shinji's late, too. Um, we should probably hurry. I think they're about to make their move. Then we have no choice. Let's organize a team from the members we have here. Once we're set, we'll move in. Support. Be careful out there. The fortune arcana is gone. The strength arcana must have done something. There's no way to attack it now. You'll have to defeat the strength arcana first.
it looks like wherever it stops, it will activate a different effect. Red hurts, and blue helps. Allies and enemies, it doesn't discriminate. Where it stops is random, and I can't predict it. But either way, be careful. What the heck just happened? Huh?
where it hurts. Go for it! I'll take care of this. Are we do this? in progress. I've had enough of gambling with fate. Let's take it down! I'm ready!
new skill. Gonna have to try it out. Good job, everyone. Oh, man. It's exhausting dealing with two of them at once. The two claiming to be Strega did not interfere this time. It's probably because we have their navigator. They can't outmaneuver us now. Anyway, I'm glad everything went well. Still, Aragaki Senpai never showed, huh? Amatakun, too. <sighs> the chairman doesn't seem to be too concerned. He's already headed home. Yamagishi, do you know where they are? Sorry, I haven't been able to locate them yet. Let's return to the dorm for the time being. Akihiko, are you listening? Today is... October 4th, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> go on back without me. I'm gonna go look for them. Wait, Senpai! I wonder what's up. Akihiko. You came. Just like we agreed. <clears throat> Do you know why I called you here? You probably have an idea, since you skipped the operation for it. Two years ago today, on October 4th, that was the day my mom died here. They called it a car accident, but it wasn't. I saw the whole thing. I saw my mom get killed. You murdered her! Uh. Since then, not one good thing has happened. Just being alive is torture, and all I get from people is sympathy. No matter where I go, what's the point of living like this? I've even thought about killing myself. But I wouldn't be able to face mom like that. That's why I vowed to live until I found her killer. You! I once heard you say you wanted to forget what you did on that day. So, when I realized it was a full moon today, I knew I had to confront you. Today, mom is with me. I'll make you remember what you did to her. I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> Do it. Oh, no one else is back yet? Man, I wonder why Sonata-san was acting so weird. Something about the date. What's so special about October 4th? October 4th? That's right. I was so focused on the operation that I didn't realize it. Today is the anniversary of the day Amada's mother was killed. She was killed? Yamagishi, I need you to locate Aragaki and Amada immediately. There's a good chance they'll be together. Akihiko must have already realized it. I-I'm uh, on it. Uh, what's going on? Public records say that Amada's mother was killed in an accident, but in truth, we were the ones responsible for her death. What? It happened two years ago, when we were hunting down a shadow that appeared in the city. Aragaki had only just awakened his persona, and he lost control of it for a moment. We'd been so focused on the shadow, we hadn't accounted for any civilians in the area. Unfortunately, there was one casualty. It was Amada's mother. No way! Are you kidding me? Wait, so to Amada-kun, Aragaki-senpai is... I should have considered this when Amada volunteered to join us. It's possible that he... I found them! They're at Tatsumi Port Island! They're together, and I'm picking up someone else, too. Is it Akihiko? Wait, this is... No, it's Striga! Hey, isn't that a problem? This couldn't be worse! Senpai! Come on, 
We gotta follow her. All right. Do it. I won't stop you. You're right. I just wanted to forget. That's why I left everyone behind. And tried to use the drugs to suppress my power. But... Nothing I did could erase the memory. No matter what I do... I always end up back here. <sighs> it's my fault. This is what I deserve. But I gotta give you a warning. A warning? You take my life, and you're going to end up just like me. You better be prepared for that. What? Are you begging for your life? Even if all you have now is hatred, one day you'll regret it. Shut up! That's bullshit! I must say, I agree. These are not his sins to bear. That is the nature of revenge. Is it not permissible to kill those who are themselves killers? Uh, that's right. What do you want? Losing one of our own has posed a slight challenge for us, but we cannot simply turn a blind eye to all the trouble you've caused. You bastard. Fear not. This life is but a stepping stone. I shall deliver unto you both salvation. What'd you say? My. Protecting your would be murderer? Oh, but that's right. Whether or not to this boy's revenge, you are fated to die regardless. What does he mean? You've been taking those suppressants for some time now. You don't have much longer. That's bullshit! Listen to your body. The signs have already begun. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're just going to die? No matter what? Even if I don't do anything? That's not fair! This is all I've been living for! What was even the point then? The cause of death is hardly of importance. Besides, the breath of life is faint in you as well, child. You were planning to join him once the deed was done, were you not? <sighs> Mara, what? This may be a bit ill-timed, but no matter. It matters not whose life I take first. You're both destined to perish anyway. Shut the fuck up! No! Now then, with what life you have left, answer me this. There is a navigator in your rank similar to Chidori, is there not? You've been killing the shadows we wish to protect with startling efficiency before we can even arrive. Tell me, which one of you is it? If you don't expedite your answer, then this will hurt you more than it hurts me. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue, or are you ready to talk? <laughs> There's no one. Hmm. Wait! It's me. Really now? It's the truth. That's the only reason they let me join, even though I'm a kid. <laughs> what are you? Ugh. Quiet. I wasn't talking to you. It doesn't matter now. I'll never have my revenge. I don't 
have any reason to live. What's the point in fighting anymore? I see. So, you accept salvation. What a beautiful end to your life. Very well. You shall go first. Rest peacefully. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Just what was that for? What reason could you possibly have to risk your life for this child? <gasps> Shinji! <coughs> your companions? How very unfortunate. The fun had just begun. <laughs> Shinji! <laughs> Hang in there! Aragaki! Senpai! Horigaki san! <laughs> That's with the long face. Isn't this exactly what you wanted? It's all right. Hold on to that anger. Let it be your strength. You've still got your whole life ahead of you, don't you, kid? From now on, you're gonna have to live for yourself. But I... But I can't. I will. This is how it should be. No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. We tragically lost him to senseless violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. He just never stops talking. I'd never even heard of any Aragaki. Had you? I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Oh, I just want to get home. I gotta study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who this Aragaki is? Wait, you're not even in the same year. No way you'd know him then. Anyways, it's crazy that stuff like this really happens, huh? Oh, no? 
Man, no one seems to know anything. Jeez, when is this gonna end? I don't have time for this. Shut up. <sighs> huh? What are you getting up for? I said shut the hell up! Iori, sit down. Damn it! Just ignore them, Junpei. <laughs> hey, have you seen Sonata Senpai today? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. You have a moment. Oh, sure. When you get back today, let's meet in the lounge. I think you all know the reason. Right. I don't expect you to have your thoughts in order. I'm not even sure what to do myself. All right, I'll see you then. So it's about a matter, huh? Well, this will be a fun meeting. Yeah. Hey. At the usual for lunch. I was wondering what ramen tastes like when you skip class. It's surprisingly good. <laughs> you could have invited me at least once, you know. Come on, say something. Why do you have to be like that? Always going off without saying a word? Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around? Yeah. You're right. I was always the one running off on my own. I was too obsessed with getting stronger ever since I lost Miki. That's all I've cared about. I thought if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone, but I was wrong. And now you're gone too. God, it's like the world is laughing at me. I knew what we were getting into. I knew we were putting our lives on the line, but I was so focused on fighting that I didn't see anything else. It doesn't matter how strong I was. Look what happened. <laughs> I know, Shinji. Crying won't change anything, right? I don't need you to tell me that. In the end, I can't run away from who I am. I've had enough of this. Rest easy, Shinji. You just watch from there with Miki. I've still got a job to do. Isn't that right? You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amata. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess bring him here. Understood. It's my fault. I knew it was strange when Aragaki Senpai told me he'd be late, but I didn't say anything. If I'd only listened to my intuition, this wouldn't have happened. That's right. It's not your fault. 
there's anyone who should have realized, it's me. I should have been taking things more seriously, too. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. <laughs> he even faced death with a smile. So, from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. This is how it should be. Huh. Senpai. <sighs> Reporting in. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? Evidence indicates that his window has been pried open. Amada-kun! Wait, Fuka, where are you going? Do you even know where to look? Well, no, but we can't just let him go off on his own, right? You're just gonna run around without a clue? You'll never find him like that. Maybe not. But we have to try! Amada-kun has nowhere else to go. I know exactly how that feels. He's right, Fuka. But... You of all people should understand, Yukari-chan! Fuka... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Give him some time. Dragging him back won't change how he feels, and we can't protect him forever. Akihiko. It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how to live his life. We all choose our own paths. <sighs> I speculate. It's you. Sorry for surprising you. I, I had a feeling someone was in here, so I came to check. What's that? <gasps> Did you find this? I see. He made a habit of not leaving behind any personal belongings, but... <sighs> I have no idea when he filled out this form to return to school. Whether he even planned to hand it in, but I think this is proof that he was thinking about the promise we made. Yes. He was so against it, and yet he still left this for us. I should show Akihiko, or actually, maybe I shouldn't. He probably wouldn't approve. Let's just keep this between us for now. <laughs> it sounds like you know how to handle those two now. Thanks to you, I was able to understand how he really felt. I'll say this on behalf of all three of us. Thank you so much. Here. 
You take this. It should go to you, since you're the one who got him to open up. Someday, once we leave the storm, then I'll tell Akihiko. I'll tell him about his struggle of returning to this room to fulfill the promise we made. But he never forgot those days when it was just the three of us. Not even for a moment. observe no abnormalities in Koromaru-san's physical or mental status today. May I have a moment of your time? There is something I wish to speak with you about. I was performing research today and came across a puzzling piece of information. It stated that there is a specific time of year in which one can reunite with the dead. It appears as though spirits return to the living realm during this time. What exactly does this mean? Once an organism comes to the end of its lifespan, its physical body will deteriorate. But does this mean that there is a spirit that exists independent of one's physical form? And in that case, would that mean that Aragaki-san is... <laughs> Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? What are you holding? It appears as though he wishes us to have it. Why don't we gratefully accept? Now, let's return to the dorm, shall we? Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
You look half dead. What are you doing out here? When Mom died protecting me, no one believed the truth. To this day, they say she died in an accident that didn't even happen. That's why I wanted to clear the record. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. They said he died in some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with Mom. And now, I'm going to be left behind. Just like always. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. But you still have your life. <sighs> I'm not here to bring you back. You can waste away here if that's what you want. But, if you still have the will to fight, then come back and stand on your own two feet. I know that. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I needed something to hate. To keep myself going. I couldn't face the thought of being alone. But that's exactly what happened. All this time, I've just been running away. <laughs> I'm not running away. I'm not running away anymore. I swear it. Aragaki-san, I'll see this through to the end. been a day. Yes. It has. So, where's Sonata-san? He said to leave Amada-kun alone, but maybe we should look for him. What do you think? So you agree with Akihiko, then? I can't just sit here. I'm going right now to... Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. You were? Amato, will you continue to fight? Yes. I'm done running away. That okay with you? Positive. It's all right. We can trust him. Please, don't scare us like that, okay? All right. I'll go and talk to the chairman. You should get some rest. Okay. Hey, not bad! All right. Sorry. So dance. If you wanna go ahead, we can do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm out in my biz, so mind your own biz. Whatever life is, we can flow with the set. Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every day we inspire, but never expires. But we go chill today. Let me rock the world tomorrow.
It's pretty chilly tonight. Can you believe it's already autumn? It'll be winter before you know it. You look a little tired. Did something happen? Oh, you did? In this world, people die every day. Until recently, I thought that was as normal as the changing of the seasons. But now, I understand why people mourn. For the first time, I have a friend. Lately, I've been remembering things more clearly. You recall the end I've spoken of? Some were calling it the fall as well. It's drawing closer each night. Can't you feel it? You and I are like kindred spirits. So, I wonder why I'm the only one who remembers. This is tearing me up. Could it be that you can't accept me for who I am? I'm sorry if I wasn't making any sense today. Maybe it's the change of season, but we're still friends. That will never change. Well, I'll be going for now. Good night. <laughs>